In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an interactive macro. I'm going to begin with recording a simple macro, nothing fancy, just a few bevels. So I'm selecting that polygon and go over to record macro. Now I am recording a macro. Press B for the bevel tool. Do a bit of inset. Shift click to reactivate. A bit of shift. Again, shift click to reactivate. Again, inset. And shift click to reactivate one last time. And a bit of shift. Press spacebar to drop the tool. And now I'm going to also click in the viewport to drop the selection and end recording my macro. And I'm going to save it to file. And I'm going to simply put some underscores so that I can easily locate it. Okay, so now I'm going to my directory where I have saved that macro, open it. And this is my macro. Now I have several command blocks and the command blocks where both inset and shift are zero are actually blocks that I don't need. They are kind of duplicates that do nothing, so I can delete them. So the rest all have values and I'm going to save this micro. So now when I run it, this is pretty straightforward. So run script, double click, it does exactly the same operation as before. So this is pretty straightforward. So as shown, each time I replay this micro or run this script, these exact same values will be executed. So how can I make this micro interactive, which this video is about? Well, all you have to do is delete the values behind the commands. So if I, for instance, want to be able to interactively change the inset, all I have to do is delete that value. And for instance, I want to interactively change the shift of that last bevel. Then again, just delete that value, save your macro. And now when I run this macro, so go to system, run script, double click on the macro, then again the pop-up and it asks me for the first bevel how much I want to for the inset, so for instance 0.2 and now it asks me for the last shift how much I want that value to be, for instance 0.15 and there you go, you have an interactive macro so if I run this macro again for this phase for instance so system, run script, I will click. Again, for the first bevel, I want an inset of, for instance, 0.3. And then for my last shift, I want, for instance, a value of 0.25. And there you go. It's the same macro, but interactively, which lets you specify how you want certain parts of the micro to be performed. So again, run script, and now I've selected two polygons. So for instance, 0.3 and 0.4, and there you go, an interactive micro. For another useful advantage, I'm going to start by recording a micro. So again, start recording a micro. Now I'm going to make the cylinder tool active, so click on that icon and I'm going to click and drag in the viewport, press Ctrl D to reset everything. And now in order to make sure that, for instance, sides and segments are recorded in my micro, I'm going to adjust them. So I'm going to make this 25. It doesn't matter for now because I'm going to make it interactive. Segments set it to 10. And now I've made sure that the micro will contain these commands. 
that I want to interactively change because I've pressed Ctrl D, the position and the radius also should have been recorded. So now that I have done so, I'm going to drop my tool and stop with recording my macro. And I'm going to save that to a file. So save the file. And again, I'm going to just do some underscores and save it. It has been saved. Go to my directory, open it up. And this is the macro that got recorded. So it was this one, I believe. No. Sorry about that that one so this is the macro that got recorded now the first block i don't think i will need it because it's a duplicate of the next block so i can delete this so when i now say for instance cylinder center x zero center y zero delete that I'm going to my size X to and actually I can to make it interactive delete these values so delete the values for the size so when I leave my values for the placement then this that part will not be interactive I have deleted the values for the size so that part will be interactive to my axis I want that to be y y tool dot reset that's not necessary anymore and again for the sides and the segments I'm going to delete the value because I want that to be interactive so delete it okay so this now is the macro that I want it turns on the uh, the tool print cylinder so for my cylinder it puts it in XYZ 0 it will ask me the size for X Y and Z it will be pointing in the Y axis and it will ask me how many sides and how many segments I want maybe for the size yeah I can make it interactive no problem so I'm going to save this micro back to modo control w for a new scene now when i run that macro so system run script and it's that one so i get again a pop-up so for instance for radius x i want it to be 0.2 for radius y for instance 1 and for radius c for instance 0.5 and then how many sides it i want for instance three sides and one segment and there you go an interactive cylinder creation of course this is not a cylinder shape because I've added or entered three sides so again run the macro system run script the radius x 0.25 radius y 0.5 radius c 0.25 sides 12 and segments for instance 5 and there you go interactive micros in modo very handy of course for something like this I can also activate the tool itself control click and drag press control D to reset it and adjust my values over here but this way of working with interactive macros may come in very handy for some situations hope you found it useful bye for now